Good evening, and welcome to the State Road 406 and US-1 Concept Development and Evaluation Studies Public Meeting presented by the Florida Department of Transportation. This short presentation will introduce you to the Concept Development Studies findings and resulting proposed alternatives. Afterwards, staff will be available in the City Council Chambers to answer questions, discuss the alternatives, and allow you a chance to provide feedback. This meeting and the subject studies are being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting either Jennifer Smith, the FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator. Their contact information is provided below. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. The material presented tonight is the product of the State Road 406 and US-1 Concept Development and Evaluation Studies. State Road 406 is a three-mile corridor traveling west to east that extends from the South Lake Elementary School, formerly the North Area Adult Education Center, to Indian River Avenue. State Road 406 is primarily a four-lane divided roadway with residential and commercial development. US-1 is a one-and-a-quarter-mile corridor from Laurel Place to Indian River Avenue traveling south to north. US-1 is a four-lane divided roadway from Laurel Place to Gray Street and a pair of two-lane one-way roadways commonly known as Washington Avenue and Hopkins Avenue from Gray Street to Indian River Avenue running through historic downtown Titusville. The State Road 406 and US-1 projects were initially requested by the City of Titusville to improve multimodal options while enhancing safety and connectivity along the corridors. The FDOT initiated their corridor planning studies, which began in January of 2015. These planning studies identified potential alternatives, which were discussed at previous public meetings. At the completion of the studies in September 2016, these alternatives were recommended for further evaluation within a concept development and evaluation phase. The current concept development and evaluation studies have further refined the original planning alternatives into detailed concept plans which are being presented as the proposed alternatives. Your input tonight will be valuable in finalizing any proposed alternatives that may move forward. As part of the evaluation process, the proposed alternatives were discussed with the project visioning team known as the PVT. The PVT is an advisory group that assists the FDOT study team by providing guidance on matters relevant to the study corridors. Our project partners include the City of Titusville and the various agencies that represent the residents and business owners along the corridor, including the City of Titusville, Brevard County, the Space Coast Transportation Planning Organization, and Space Coast Area Transit. The concept development phase started with updating the previously published existing conditions reports. This update consisted of collecting additional data to reassess and confirm the viability of the previous proposed alternatives. Next, the Future Conditions Reports explored the anticipated operations of the corridors for the future year 2040. The existing and future conditions reports are available on cflroads.com. Upon finalizing the reports and coordinating with the PVT, the original alternatives were refined into the proposed concepts being presented to you today. Utilizing the future traffic projections, which incorporated historic growth rates, projected population growth, and forecasted development, both the State Road 406 and US-1 corridors are expected to operate at acceptable roadway and intersection conditions through the year 2040. 
While the capacity is not a concern for the future of the corridors, there is the potential to improve the operations and safety within the corridor. Improvements could include reducing the number of median openings and reducing the number of crashes at intersections consistent with the original planning studies. The original State Road 406 and US-1 planning studies produced six potential alternatives. This included roundabouts, a lane modification, bike lanes, and median improvements throughout the corridor, which were the basis behind our current concept development and evaluation studies. As part of these studies, the three roundabouts were further evaluated. Based on the re-evaluation, the US-1 and Gray Street roundabout was removed from the proposed alternatives due to the low side street traffic volumes, low benefit to cost, and potential for significant business relocation costs and access concerns. The proposed alternatives moving forward within these concept development and evaluation studies include Median improvements throughout the State Road 406 corridor to improve safety and traffic flow. The addition of buffered bike lanes throughout the State Road 406 corridor. A lane modification along State Road 406 from Dixie Avenue to Indian River Avenue, reducing the number of lanes from 5 to 3. A roundabout along State Road 406 to Singleton Avenue and a roundabout along State Road 406 at the one-way pairs of US-1, locally known as Washington Avenue and Hopkins Avenue. The following slides will provide an overview of each improvement strategy with accompanying concept graphics. The proposed concepts can be further explored upstairs in the Council Chambers as part of this public meeting. Along State Road 406, from the beginning of the project at South Lake Elementary School to Dixie Avenue, the proposed concepts include median improvements and the addition of bike lanes. The proposed changes to this roadway section include the removal of on-street parking and reducing of travel lane width to accommodate the addition of a buffered bike lane. The concept plan also includes a wider median with a modification in the number of openings to improve safety. This proposed concept will keep the existing sidewalks curb and right-of-way boundary. A lane modification is proposed for State Road 406, which has the potential to solve a number of traffic operations and safety issues. The benefits often include a reduction in crashes, a more bicycle and pedestrian friendly atmosphere with increased safety, an easy implementation at a low cost, and a potential increase in local property value. The lane modification option is being proposed along State Road 406 from Dixie Avenue to the Eastern Study Limits at Indian River Avenue. The lane modification within this segment will include the reduction of travel lanes from a five-lane section to a three-lane section with one travel lane in each direction and a center two-way left turn lane. This proposed concept will also include a reduction in the travel lane width to encourage safer traffic speed, the addition of buffered bicycle lanes. With all these proposed changes, the corridor will operate at acceptable operations in the future year 2040. The final proposed alternative includes the potential for two roundabouts along the State Road 406 corridor. Roundabouts are designed to improve safety for all users, including pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists. A well-designed roundabout in the right location can serve as a traffic calming measure by reducing vehicle speeds, providing an aesthetically appealing infrastructure element, and incurring no annual operating costs. A significant benefit for roundabouts is the up to 90% reduction of fatal crashes, up to 76% reduction of injury crashes, and up to 40% reduction of pedestrian crashes. The first roundabout being evaluated was along State Road 406 at Singleton Avenue, east of Interstate 95. As part of this proposed concept, 
The roundabout at Singleton Avenue seeks to reduce the number of crashes, serve as a gateway feature moving into downtown Titusville, and slow down motorists. The proposed roundabout is expected to improve traffic operations while improving safety at a significant cost savings over the life of the project at this intersection. The second roundabout being proposed along State Road 406 is located at the US-1 northbound and southbound intersection pair of Washington Avenue and Hopkins Avenue. The proposed roundabout concept will combine the one-way pair intersections of US-1 along State Road 406 into one intersection. The concept seeks to reduce the high number of crashes and improve traffic operations at both intersections, while also slowing down motorists and serving as a gateway for downtown Titusville. While the roundabout could impact some adjacent businesses, which could require additional right-of-way, the operation and safety benefits support the proposed concept moving forward based on the FHWA approved benefit to cost analysis and roundabout analysis. As part of the proposed roundabout concept at State Road 406 and US 1, the department has funded a resurfacing project scheduled for construction this year between Petty Circle and Hopkins Avenue, which will include the removal of the Palm Avenue signal. With the removal of this signal and the proposed roundabout, a total of three signals within the corridor will be removed. This would produce a simplified and potentially safer State Road 406 corridor. Overall, the proposed concepts maintained acceptable operations throughout the corridor within the future conditions. In addition, the original goals of the study were also addressed. This included improving multimodal mobility, enhancing safety and connectivity, and supporting economic development and community development goals. The State Road 406 and US-1 concept development and evaluation studies are important and vital steps in turning the concepts discussed today into reality. However, there are still additional steps before the proposed alternatives can be funded for design and construction. This includes the important step of receiving public comment on the concepts today and presenting studies findings to the Titusville City Council and the Space Coast TPO. Currently, the design, right-of-way, and construction phases are not funded for any of the proposed concepts. Thank you for attending today's meeting. You will now have the opportunity to proceed into the City Council Chambers on the second floor to review the proposed alternatives in more detail. The project team will be on hand to answer questions and discuss the results of the studies thus far. The graphic on the right shows the recommended station route which is also available on the meeting handout available at the entrance for those who did not receive one. If you have any further questions after the meeting, please reach out to either Judy Pizzo, the FDOT project manager, or Kevin Freeman, the consultant team project manager. Project information is also available for review on cflroads.com. Project-specific links can be found on meeting comment forms. If you wish to review displays about this project, please proceed upstairs into the City Council Chambers. Thank you again for coming this evening to the State Road 406 and US-1 Concept Development Studies Public Meeting.